when I read the Bible, I learn how God wants me to live. I understand the importance of respecting my parents, being honest, and sharing God's Word. Christians should spend less time worrying. Worrying is a waste of time. You have no reason to worry with God on your side, and God will guide you no matter how hard things get. The human body was created excellently by God. Just think about the fact that every part works perfectly. Every joint is in the right spot, every bone is in the correct place, every muscle, and every other body part are precisely positioned. In fourth grade, I learned about John Newton. He is the man who wrote the song, Amazing Grace. He is also the author of the book, Thoughts Upon the American Slave. This book helped influence people in England to pass anti-slavery laws. It is very important that people should read the Bible because it is God's word, it helps one find the way to eternal life, and the Bible brings wisdom to life. 1 Timothy 4.12 says, Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set examples for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. The Bible tells believers that they are adopted sons and daughters of God. They are forgiven, they are loved, they are His workmanship. The Bible is the sure foundation that Christians should base their identity on. People use a worldview every single day, so it is crucial that Christians have a biblical worldview to stay true to the Word of God and not allow the culture to influence them. God created man with a purpose. The Lord is a caring God who has a purpose for everything He creates. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, in which He prepared him beforehand for us, that we should walk in them. If a child spends that much time in an influential environment, then a child will likely develop a worldview based on that school's agenda. Studies have shown that those who choose their own gender can feel even more depressed and have daily anxiety, making their identity situation worse than it was in the beginning. Jesus tells Christians to make disciples of all nations, and social media and the internet have made that even easier. Using good online etiquette includes many things, such as staying on topic, respecting others, and being mindful of sarcasm. Jesus was focused on the preparation of heaven and tolerated the pain of the cross so people could come to him. If Christians prioritize eternity like Jesus did, they are being more like Christ and more effective in pointing others to God. Christians cannot just claim to be pro-life. We need to show that we are. This means caring about life outside of the womb as well. Instead of outright rejecting or blindly embracing all applications of AI, Christians must determine whether each form aligns with God's moral law, follows His design for relationships, and reflects His image in mankind. God created man with an ability and desire to create and innovate. By having equal outcome, this hampers man's intended purpose. Innovation allows for American economic success, and this boosts the country's overall state. Choosing to ingrain biblical values in both the home and the classroom will enable students to deepen their moral convictions, rely on consistent authority figures, and will shape their worldviews. The Plymouth Colony was economically organized as a socialist community, requiring all pilgrims to give all products of their labor to the common store. Traditionally, the right to life is protected by both the Declaration and the Constitution. When looking at science, the start of life is also clear. Since the Tower of Babel in Genesis 11, mankind has been diversified and scattered across the world. But these different nations of people are not separate categories of humankind, as human DNA is 99.6% identical. 